Hey, it's Phoebe with Matt Behind the Camera and today we are in South Africa exploring Johannesburg. Known as Josie, Joburg or the City of Gold, it was first founded back in 1886 following the discovery of gold. Now it is the largest city in South Africa and it has been designated a mega city. That is how big it is. Now this is our very beautiful and amazing guide Cindy and she is from a company called AHA Travels. She's going to be with us throughout our whole stay here and today we are starting things off in Mabonang and she's going to tell us all about it. Hi, hi, hi and welcome. Um, we are now at Mabonang. And this is the place that started in 1998, where you get a lot of uh, galleries, a lot of artwork exposed, restaurants, exotic foods. We mm -hmm. find it here. So there is a fantastic market that happens here in Melbourne every Sunday. And that's what we were here to do, here to experience. And unfortunately, Cindy has told us that for some reason, that is not happening today. But if you are coming and you can plan your visit for a Sunday, you definitely want to head down here and check out the market. If you can't, just come around here anyway. There's so much great street art around the place. And in case you're wondering what Malbanang means, it means place of light. Yeah, so this is the painting. The Bongs is one of the greatest artists that we have around Johannesburg. Uh, this is one of his best uh, paintings of a woman carrying a gun and having a child on her back and breastfeeding at the same time. We have another huge one, almost the same as this one in Cape Town, all, all, all done by the Bongs. So Sundays in the city, they are a bit quiet compared to your Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, there's a lot of movement. Um, there's a lot of trading. You know, there's just a lot happening in the streets of Johannesburg. Yeah. The streets are packed. People, the street vendors. You yeah. know, I'll tell you how you come to do your shopping here. Yeah. You don't just come. You don't put on your lipstick. You, you don't even carry a purse. Your money must be, you know, our purse, Especially ladies, your pants is your breast. Yes. So when they're saying it's 10, and you, okay, when they're saying this, this, um, this amounts to 20, and you're like, but I've got 10. So you must take out the 10. Not say I've got 10, yet you have the 20, and you expect to get your 10 back. No. So you must line it, you know, according. You must know that, okay, yeah, it's my 10. You look like you've got a bit more space for money than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much space. I'm not packing much. I don't need the accolades. I'm in love. Johannesburg was named after three people. The Berg, it's, it, it was a word that was used by, by the Dutch people. Uh, that means city. So hence now it's called Johannesburg. It's Johannes City. You'll find 27 boxes located here in Melville. And as you can see from the outside of it, it is actually a whole bunch of storage containers all put together and turned into this really cool shopping complex. Now it is a Sunday, so it is dead. <laughs> and that is our job to come here and check what day is the best to come so that you don't come here on a quiet day. You wanna come Monday through Saturday and it's gonna be a lot busier than it is today. Soweto. Now the name for Soweto is an abbreviation for the South Western Townships. I remember from our first visit to Johannesburg, it was the highlight of my trip last time. So I'm definitely excited to see more of it and a different side of it. And one thing we didn't get to do last time was go inside Nelson Mandela's house. Today it is open, thank goodness. So we're going to go inside, take a little look and hopefully learn a little bit more about the history. This is the former house of Mr. Nelson Mandela. Uh, the house where he lived 15 years before he was taken to prison and when he came back from prison he also stayed in the very same house but for only 11 days. This is the house again that holds a lot of history. You know we even have a tree just next to me here that holds that um, where all the umbilical cuts of the children that were born and raised in this house were buried. So that's part of the African culture. And it's a house that has so many memories, especially during the times of apartheid, when Mr. Mandela was still, you know, a freedom fighter, fighting for what we have today. In one spot, there's actually a bullet still in the wall. Yes. And you can see inside the middle of the house where they had to build a wall inside the house so that mm. they could hide 
behind the wall and not get shot by the police. And you can see all the remnants outside here of the fire. The charring on the top of the building from petrol bombing. Yes. It is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Uh, on a slightly more uplifting note, <laughs> um, our guide was saying inside that this is the only street in the world with two with Nobel, Nobel winners. Yes, That's incredible. Yes, yes. Desmond Tutu and Nelson, and Nelson Mandela. Mandela. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And, and, and just to add on that, um, you know, Mr. Man Nelson Mandela during his passing, he, he later married a Grasa, Grasa Michelle, who became the first lady twice. She was firstly married to a, a president of Mozambique. Samora Michelle and then later got married to Mr. Nelson Mandela. So I always said that, you know, she must always share the recipe with us on how she does it, you know, being the first lady twice. I never thought I would fall. I never thought I would be with someone like you. Now, in Soweto is known as one of the places where you get the best buffet lunch that you can eat. So their buffet runs from as early as 11 o'clock in the morning until late, maybe around 12 uh, midnight. Yeah. Awesome. Now, I am told by very good authority that this is authentic South African cuisine. I've not, like I said, this is a second visit. I've not had a chance to try this food before. This is, I mean, obviously I've had rice in my life, but. I've not had this kind of stuff, so I'm excited to try everything. And if you're wondering, can I come here? Is it going to be okay if I don't eat meat? Absolutely. They're going to think you're going to starve because they want to see you eat some meat. But you will have plenty of options, trust me. So most of this I've not tried before. So let's just dig in and try everything. Now these are different kinds of maize kind of yes. with different things. So this is the plain one? Yes, that is the maize. Okay, that's a very chewy consistency. Uh -huh. Very solid. Mm -hmm. We call that ipa. Oh, mm -hmm. that's amazing. With mm -hmm. it, the red, the red sauce. And this one's got pumpkin. And this got pumpkin. It's 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 mini rice with pumpkin together. Oh, that much good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I know. This one's got. And then that is meat. corn and brown beans. And this one's like a butternut squash. Yeah. That one's really good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> For accommodation here in Johannesburg, we are staying at Hallmark House, where industrial meets modern chic. And this place is fantastic. Now it's located very close to the Johannesburg CBD and it is awesome. Our room is so big, that bathroom and the bedroom are fantastic. There's just plenty of space. And what I love about this place is this massive deck with awesome views. Now you can also catch great views from the rooftop bar and they have a barber. What a cool spot. It is time for dinner and this evening our amazing guide has brought us here to a town called Sandton. Now Sandton is known as the richest square mile in the African continent. We've officially arrived, you guys, we've made it! We're fancy! And we're going to be having our dinner at a place called Saint. It's a Sunday and they are known for their saintly Sunday. Let's go check it out. lumbar support, sit down, have a meal area. This is my vibe. This is the great food spot for people in their 30s. 
now. The menu here is sensational. Lots of great stuff from the grill, lots of pasta, all things like that. I've gone for the wood fired prawns, which is one of their signature dishes. Matt's gone for a great pasta. He's also gone for a pizza. Um, we've got a chicken berry berry pasta over here. Everything looks amazing, and I'm going to dig in and try one of these prawns because my mouth is watering. <laughs> Morning, my loves, and yeah, well, that's Zulu, and it's a very positive, like a yes, like a hey, yes, feeling it vibe, and I'm obsessed with saying yeah, well, the girls have taught me, and it's just the best thing to say ever. I don't know, just get into it. They said even when they're dancing, they're like yeah, well, yeah, well, and I'm I'm really into it. <laughs> so this morning we are starting off with a little bit of shopping. Um, I wanted to go somewhere to like check out some local arts and crafts maybe, and like get a few souvenirs for my mom and. Uh, We've come here to Rosebank and we are at the Rosebank Arts and Crafts Market. Now I did see they actually have a Sunday market as well, which would be worth checking out if you're here on a Sunday. And if you are here on a Saturday, you also want to check out something called the Playground. It used to be called the Neighbor Goods Market. Um, that's in Blomfontein, I think, and it's on a Saturday and it's awesome as well. Really great food, live music, lots of cool arts and crafts as well. So we are hanging out in Rosebank still and we're going to a place called Lexi's and it is entirely plant-based which I didn't know you could do that in South Africa. <laughs> they love their meat but apparently there are a few all plant-based places so you know I'm excited. Let's go and eat. I'm getting ready for my unknown bed. <laughs> Cindy's mortified. <laughs> At the all plant based menu <laughs> to ease the pain, she's ordered. Yes. She's ordered a brownie and ice cream first and an absolute power move. Thank you. I'm gonna try some because it looks lovely. Lovely and it's nicely salted, eh? Mm. So this is vegan. Taste. Do you like it's it? It's vegan, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's really, really it's nice. good. Oh, blow ball. Oh, ball. That's me. Big bowl of. Oh, this is nice. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> I got the glow bowl, which is sweet potato. Interestingly, the sweet potato here is sort of yellow. Ours at home is orange. It's got like a tahini dressing, lots of roast veggies, chickpeas, cauliflower, avocado, spinach, carrot. Looks amazing. No, no. <laughs> Your shot does look amazing. She's wishing she'd order this instead. Um, let's give it a try. It looks really good. Mm. A sweet potato here is better. It's really good, right? Tavern. Um, our guides have brought us here. They know the owners. They know everybody here, and it's a really cool vibe. Bani Chow. Yeah, but it has mint, uh, mesh, acha, and cheese. Acha is the mango. Yeah, the mango chutney. Yes. Yeah. Can I smell? Yes. You can. You can even taste it. Yeah. Oh, really? Very, very nice. Oh, that smells good! Yay! This is like a mango chutney they were telling me about the other day. Yay! It can't even taste. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. This one doesn't have no flavor. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Good. So 
if you come to Soweto on a Monday, the thing to do is Mahoro Mondays. Did I get it right? Mahoro. Yes, baby. Um, now, the basic concept is around taking maybe cuts of meat that are not the most desirable and turning them into something desirable. And we've come to an amazing local bar and Cindy's going to tell us everything that we're looking at because we've got a bit of everything to try. We have the tribe and then right here we have the cow heels and then here we have the chicken feet, the cow ne uh, the, the chicken necks and the gizas. This. And then we have the hard body chicken. Here we have the pork trotter and the lamb trotter. Yeah. Wow. I'm truly horrified. There's no <laughs> way to describe it. This is the perfect time to be a vegan slash plant eater plus slash seafood eater. But I'll tell you what, there's no stuff I can eat. So let's try something I can eat. Yeah. So I'll try the... What, this one I can eat? Yes. Yeah, okay. This looks good. And the acha you can eat. Yeah, the acha I can eat. Mmm. Try that. I didn't nice. have this yesterday. Um, um, Trying to choose the now. biggest piece. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's the steam bread is my new obsession. Taking it and cut. Oh my god, he's doing it. I'm gonna take one. <laughs> take one. Just take even just a little bit, right? I'm mortified. One for the it's nice. That's good. Oh, yes. It's good. really good. Is it? Now, two mm. things I wanted to add about our accommodation here at Hallmark House. We have loved our stay. It has been awesome, and I think the hotel is so so cool. They have an amazing rooftop bar as well. It does play really loud music, which we can hear from inside our room. It hasn't bothered me or Matt at all. I know it would bother my mom though, so just letting you know so you can factor that in if loud music like that might be an issue for you. The hotel's also located in the downtown area, which isn't the most beautiful area, I would say, and it's not somewhere I would go out walking around at night, that kind of thing. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're after a hotel in a really beautiful spot, maybe this isn't quite the location for you, but if you're after a really funky, cool, beautiful hotel with an awesome jazz club, great food, awesome artwork, rooftop bar, a really great vibe. This is definitely the spot. I have loved it and I would stay here again. Now, I have told you this before, but this is our second visit to Johannesburg. The first time we visited, I was terrified. I'd heard a lot of stories, you know, about safety and things like that. I was really scared and we didn't have an issue at all our first visit. We did have a guide with us. You should definitely go and watch that video because we did a lot of different things to what we have in this video. It's a very different perspective, especially on Soweto. Um, all I can do with you guys is share my personal experience. Both time I've come to Johannesburg, I've had a fantastic time. I've had no safety issues whatsoever. And I believe that's because I've had a guide and a driver with me the whole time. I've listened to them and done whatever they've said. And I haven't gone out walking on my own or anything like that. So just something to keep in mind. My experience has been a positive one both times. That's all I can share. <laughs> and with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. And say hello in the comments below. I hope you have the most amazing weekend ahead and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya.